You know, sports have always been a really big part of my life and something that I've done, you know, pretty much since I grew up. I thought we got to see How's it going, Teo? Thanks for uh, dropping by. I know you had some questions about civil engineering and uh, I'm here to help out. What are some jobs and, and specialties that civil engineers complete that the average person might not know about? Everything is associated with civil engineering. The roads that you drive on, the water lines that come into your building, the sewer lines that come out of your building, like everything that's as far as infrastructure goes is civil engineering. It's my job to oversee the land development aspect of it. There's probably like six or seven engineers involved in just one project. Kind of just makes me curious about how you came to realization and about what you wanted to ultimately work in. I've been helping my mom financially since I, since I was a little kid. And so from that perspective, like family has always been super important to me. You know, being able to help your neighbor is really important to me. I always wondered as a kid, why is it that this neighborhood has this type of park? And the work that I do empowers me to really help the communities that I want to help. Right. When you get that license and you become a PE, you, you have a moral obligation to the community. That must be a great feeling to be an active professional and to know that, you know, in your work, you're not compromising your values. That's really ideal. And that's what I'm searching for. What's important is just knowing where do you see yourself working? What type of a lifestyle you want to have? You want to be outdoors and you work in construction, but does that come at the expense of you traveling 50% of the time? Maybe you have a long-term relationship. Is that going to impact that? It's interesting to, to think about strings being attached to, you know, what looks like a good job offer. You know, I had friends coming out of college making 120 and uh -huh. they're like, let's go, man. Like I'm, I'm rolling in it. Um, and they quit six months in. Wow. Why? Because they were working in an area that they did not find fulfilling. What do you think about uh, what college students, you know, kids my age should be doing in their free time, you know, over the summers? Figure out what job you want and do everything you can to build the skill set required to be qualified for that job. Join a technical organization to get an internship, even though it may not be where you see yourself going in the future, because it helps you build your network, right? There's this quote that your network is your net worth. General life advice is find mentors, right? Find mentors that are in discipline, find mentors who are upperclassmen who are about to graduate. And by the time you try to go for a job, they know you for four years. So that you got, you got a leg up. And the other one is just continue to be curious in the world that you live in. Read articles, watch some YouTube videos of, of where trends are going, but just make sure you keep yourself accountable. Like don't fall in the, in the rabbit hole like I do and spend hours and hours of watching the same you thing know. on YouTube. What do you think about the importance of soft skills and being able to communicate with people? I mean, I get chills, right? Just thinking about it. Cause a lot of people like don't, don't care about that stuff. Like to them, this is all technical work. As a civil engineer, when you get further in your career, you may have to go to city council and mm -hmm. present to neighbors about your project. And being able to have that conversation, you know, really helps you achieve the goals that you're trying to achieve later down the line. Those are all my questions. Teo, thank you so much for listening to me ramble. Um, I hope <laughs> some of this advice is beneficial to you. You know, if any time you need anything else, feel free to follow up. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. I worry about where I am right now, you know, trying to figure out a career path. I promise you that it is okay to not have the answers right now and you're doing exactly what you need to do.